the be positive about our increase of faith. If we are out of station, uh, if we are trying to be everywhere, we have to pressure on the company and we uh, prepare ourselves that you are paying more to everybody um, without any arguments. And we are just out of here. We are small, we are short paying us. Uh, uh, we are looking forward to increasing those labor rates. No, I, I, I know that that's the objective, and Mike and I talked about that. But um, so, as we had talked, we do pay the the prevailing rate, and of course, I know that I read the, the description you put in your letter about that in the Austin market. And I told Mike that, um, and you know, Mike is on also that. You, you had mentioned DRP agreements affecting rates, and so I'm not sure about. I'm not sure how other companies do it. I know that Geico. We don't have different rates. Uh, we haven't had um, different rates or contracts where we pay different rates to shops that we have the ARX program or whatever, and so we pay the same rate regardless of the um, of the of the shop entity. Typically, I know there was some estimates that come from other areas or something that were paid a different rate, but I. You know, I wasn't sure if that's what caused the um, the question, but I, I am confident that we are paying the prevailing rate in the Austin area. Yes, you, you, you just now said that we paid more to everybody, so I, I wanted to make sure I knew what that meant. We have given you the evidence uh, that Geico is paying more to the other shops. And, uh, and just to clarify, we, and just to clarify, uh, not all other shops, but we do have examples of other shops being paid you know more and you know you guys aren't wanting to budge on that and now it's gotten to the point where you guys are trying to steer our customers away uh you know and now you're trying to interrogate them and interview them about uh their contracts and agreements with us and uh you know that comes directly from you so we don't appreciate that and uh you know now you're trying to steer our customers away exactly what you and i discussed the other day so i don't understand why you guys are now trying to interrogate our customers you know based off of contracts regarding our business you know, after uh, you told me that you guys would never try to steer. Like, we literally have another recording today, you guys trying to steer people away. So, I'm not really sure really why know, why this is going yeah, on. What you're talking about, Mike, could you enlighten me? I mean, if something new happened, then I, I'm not aware of it. So, what, what happened? I mean, you know what happened? What, 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 what notations did you guys put down on that Forerunner? I mean, you guys can just, if you don't, if you want to act like you don't know, I mean, you can just act like you don't know, and then we can go ahead and do a discovery. I really and I know you guys are prepping for your discovery, so we're going to prep for our discovery, so. No, I'm not sure, I promise you. I mean, I was just there the other day, you said that we did something. Yeah, but listen, we already know what Geico plays. We already know the games he plays. Smile, smile to the face and go in the back and enter in a bunch of notes. You know, so now you guys are interrogating our customers. So you might want to go ahead and find out who's interrogating our customers and why, if you have no idea. Because the other day we discussed and you you, you told me that you weren't aware of these things. And I told you that, you know, you could be unaware of it, but ignorance doesn't mean that you know, it, it just goes away of what's actually going on. So now I got a recorded call of me telling you that your adjusters in, you know, 1-800 is doing that. So I, I'd like for you to look into it so you guys can stop steering our business away. Uh, Mike, I promise you I have no clue as to what you're talking about. Someone steering business away. So okay, so you, you, uh, you guys didn't request recorded so you guys didn't request recorded statements from our customers in in the notes and you guys aren't having uh you know customers uh get questioned and interrogated and that wasn't direction from you in the notes or uh maybe your discussions with drew and kyle here i'm not aware of anything my discussion with drew and kyle was that there was a list of claims that you and i had already looked at and there were items on those claims that they wanted them to meet with you just like we talked about last week and determine if there was any okay. supplemental items that could be or need to be negotiated i don't i'm not so you guys don't have any issue with how we conduct this so you guys don't have any any issues with how we conduct business and our agreements with our customers then and your insurance then we don't want i'm saying i'm saying so yeah sorry so i'm saying what you're saying. No, 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 that's what I'm trying to get at. So, so you're saying you don't have any issues with the way we conduct business and the customer shouldn't be interrogated and definitely not from your order or anything that you said that our customers should be getting calls from Geico or talking to Geico and trying to get recorded statements on different stuff. I'm not aware of uh, Kyle or Drew.